What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. This video is about traction. You will learn what is traction, what is the direction of traction, what is the maximum traction value. So without spending much time, let's start now. First think of what is traction. Okay. So traction is commonly used word and many believe that it is just another word for the friction. But is it really? Let's have a closer look on the friction and traction. Here I am taking the case of the rear wheel drive car. The rear tire has the power. The tire is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction you can see. And it pushes the ground with the force F1. So the ground applies the reaction force on the tire F2 which makes the car to move forward fine and when the car moves forward f3 force is applied by the tire on the ground and the ground apply the reaction force f4 on the tire which produces a torque on the tire okay and makes the tire to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction fine so this is how your car moves in the forward direction with both of the wheels spinning okay so what do you learn from this? Just pause the video and think. Time's up. Let me tell you. Suppose there is no friction between the rear tire and the ground. Will tire be able to push the ground with the force F1? Think once. No, of course. This is the similar case when you walk on the ground. When you walk, you push the ground and the ground pushes you. To move forward, of course. If there was no friction between you and the ground, will you able to walk? No, you will slip. So similarly, if there is no friction between the tire and the road, the tire will spin on its own axis. So that's why friction is crucial here. Hence, there is friction, you push the ground and the ground will push you. Here, tire pushes the ground with the force F1 and it gets the force in the forward direction which is F2. So what is F2? F2 is the tractive force which helps the vehicle to move forward and it is equals to F1 because they are the reaction forces and are equal and opposite. Fine. Now let's see the front tire. Suppose there is no friction between the front tire and the ground. Now the tire will skid or spin. Think once. Right. They will skid and will move in the forward direction. Is it desirable? No of course. Because if they are skidding there will be no grip and you will not be able to steer your vehicle. Okay. So that's why there is friction. The tire pushes the ground by the force F3 and gets the reaction force F4. Okay, and this F4 causes the tire to rotate. So the tire rotates and move forward. So what is F3? F3 is the front tractive force. Okay, but generally F3 is not said as a tractive force because tractive force is the term which is used for the driving wheels. The wheels which are having the power. So if the car is rear wheel drive, then the rear wheels are having the power and if the car is front wheel drive, the front wheels are having the power. Fine. If the car is all wheel drive, then all the four wheels are having the power. So the tractive force is applied on all the wheels. So traction is the friction between the drive wheel and the road surface. If you lose the traction, you will lose the road grip. Okay. Now next, what's the value of the maximum traction? So FF maximum will be equals to mu into WF and I'm considering this equation as 1 and the second equation FR maximum is equals to mu into WR. Okay, this is equation number 2. So where FF is the traction on the front tire, FR is the traction on the rear tire, mu is the friction coefficient between the tire and roll, WF is the weight transfer on front tire and WR is the weight transfer on rear tire. Okay, so we know the value of WF is this. And similarly, WR is this. These are from the previous video. Okay, you can check them out. So the equation number three, and this is the equation number four. So using the equation one, two, three, and four, we finally get FF max equals to this, FR max equals to this. You can iterate them and you can also get the same values. Fine. Traction depends on the weight transfer, load, position of center of gravity of the vehicle. As you can see, it depends upon the L1, L2 and L. So center of gravity position. 
Note that the traction also increases due to the aerodynamic downforce. As aerodynamic downforce increases, the weight transfer will increase, okay, and traction will also increase. Fine. So, this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, go and hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and colleagues. Let everyone know about the traction. And the last, the most important thing, okay, do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. And also, if you want to check the blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobile and softwares, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Fine. And if you have any queries regarding this video, you can hit the comment box. Okay. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring.